Welcome friends. This video is going to be looking at how do you import a world save to your server or to your local game or to even a hosted server. It's a question that I've received countless times. For instance, you might have been playing with a friend, he was hosting a server and he stopped playing. So now he wants to send you the files. How do you use them? And what files do you need? Maybe you are starting a server through the client, but you want to set up a dedicated on your LAN. What files do you need and how do you actually get that set up? And another very common situation is that you've been playing the game, you've been having fun with your friends. You guys decided that, hey, you want to spring for a hosted server with a server provider. So you rent one, you set it up, but how do you continue your existing save so you don't have to start over again even on the hosted server? Is there a way to transfer your existing world save to the next server that you want to put it on? And the answer to all of this, yes, 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 there's definitely a way to do it. And it's actually very simple. The steps that you take are very similar across, regardless of whether you're playing locally, you're playing on a dedicated server, you're playing on a hosted server. And I'm going to be walking through all of this here. If this video is useful for you, consider hitting that like button and maybe subscribe to my channel. I'll also link my Valheim playlist of videos in the top of this description where I have a bunch of other videos covering the game. The first thing we want to do is locate where are the sale files on your hard disk. And normally it's under users and your username, app data, local low iron gate Valheim. Some people have been reporting that, hey, they simply can't find it. It's because under the options, the view options over here, you have to enable view and show hidden files, folders and drives because under the app data is usually hidden. It's there, but you can't see it by default. So go and enable it. Simply hit options, change folder and search options, view, and then tick in show hidden files, folders and drives. That's the first thing. Then you know, navigate down here, and this is basically the whole Valheim folder structure. What you're looking for, and of course there's some other files as an admin if you want to ban or permit players, but we're not looking at that. I've done another video about that. You want to go into worlds. This is where all the worlds that you have on your hard disk are being located, or SSD if you're using that. One thing to take note is that the actual file names and structure between them was changed slightly in the last weeks. Because a lot of people had issues where the save files would be wiped, where they will lose all their buildings, everything they had done. The seed would be there, but all the buildings and everything would be gone. What they have done, they have basically duplicated and now keep an internal backup of the files as well. So you'll see these are the original files and Vedat Vikings is my actual world name. The database file is where all the buildings and terrain manipulation you've done, maybe terraforming, forming, is all in here. The FWL relates to the actual seed and the generation of the map. So previously they only had this one and this one. What they've done, they've actually now taken a backup. So there will be, not all the time, but often an old file for both of them. Even more peculiar is that sometimes you only have the old files, you don't actually have the other ones. I'm not really sure why this is happening, but I've definitely seen it and people have highlighted that, hey, they only have the old files. It's fine. It just means that you only have one copy of it. But these are the files that you're looking for. Just make sure you copy whichever world name it is, Veda Vikings in this case, and zip them up or just put them on a thumb drive or send them. Because these files represent your world and your game. So we're going to assume that your friend has sent you these files, he's located them on his hard disk or SSD, and he sent them over to you and you've located your correct location, which is similar, and simply pasted them in here. First part is done or maybe first and second. If you're only playing through the client, you simply go to your usual start game and it will be here. You'll see the Vedai Vikings and you can start your server, etc., etc. all just played locally. But I'm going to assume that maybe you have a dedicated server or host a server that you want to actually configure. So let's start with you having a dedicated server. So the way you do it is you go to properties, go to local files, browse. That will pop up the location of your dedicated server and all the files. Now I've shown how to install this in a previous video. So check out my playlist if you don't know how to do that, because I go through how to do it through Steam or through Steam command. But I have here my bat file that actually starts the server. So we're going to edit that one. What you need to make sure is that the name doesn't really matter, but this one matters. This is the world name that has to correspond to the name of your files. So if you remember, 
our files were vedadvikings.db, etc., etc. So this is the vedadvikings that you want to copy in here, because that tells the server to pick up the respective SAM files. Password and stuff like that doesn't really matter. Put whatever you want to have. And that's it. If you're running a local dedicated server, just start it up and it should pick everything up. Of course, make sure that your server is using the latest version of Valheim as well. If you've been playing for a while on the decline and you haven't updated the server, you might have run into issues where the save file is a later game version than the server. So make sure you always update the server before you run it. But how do you do it if you have a hosted solution? Well, most hosting providers work similar. This is how you do it for Ping Perfect. You go to your file manager. Of course, you have to log into your game panel. And once you're here, you have to locate your save location, which is saves, then worlds, which is very similar as on your local disk. And you see here, I have uploaded these ones as well. You can actually just hit upload, which is over here, and then select the files on your hard disk and upload them. Do take note that if their files are too big, you might have to zip them up and then upload them because they're a lot bigger when they are unzipped. Or if your world is actually really big, you might have to FTP it. And just as a slight aside, Pink Perfect does have some resource of how you actually access your file manager or your FTP. So go have a look at that one. I'll try to link that one in the description below. It's fairly simple. It does require you to have an FTP program, but it's really convenient to upload or download if you have a lot of large files. But regardless, I'm assuming that you've uploaded the correct file, so you see it's exactly the same as we had on the local hard disk. That's the first step. The second step is that we need to go to Command Line Manager, because we just like on the local dedicated, we need to set the world name. Once here, you click on the right side where it says Selected, and then you configure it. Make sure you have your password and the world name, which is again exactly the same as the files themselves were named. Go ahead, Apply and then return to the main part of the game panel and start the server. But what if you have the files on your hosted server and you want to download to your local site just to try things out? Simply go to the file manager just as I showed you and download instead of uploading. I actually do that frequently myself because I game with my friends when I do my streaming and I'll be playing on my server. Afterwards, often I will zip it up, download it, and I'll do some testing and everything and especially make videos using the same world that as I've been streaming on. And the added benefit is that I have an extra copy of the game in case something goes wrong. So what we've gone through is how you locate the save files, what the save files are named, how to configure your local dedicated server, how to upload to hosted provider, and how to configure that server to pick it up and let you start the game with your existing save file. Everything else, when it comes to managing and administrating your server, whether it's local dedicated or hosted, is exactly the same. This just relates to the save file transfer. And that's how easy it is to import it from your friend or to your hosted provider or your local dedicated server. And I have had some people who have commented before that they had issues where they put a save file on the server and they had no buildings. Usually it's because they haven't taken all the save files or there's a version compatibility. So make sure your server has the latest version and make sure you're transferring all the files. Good luck and enjoy your gaming. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the Vedit community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.